is love. And so we welcome you. Matthew and David welcome you. Welcome. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Before we begin the ceremony, is everyone's comfortable, I hope you all can move over a little bit here. Um, before we begin the marriage ceremony, David expressed his desire to light a candle in honor of those. Uh, this is a com commemorative candle. And I am going off script a bit here, and so in tradition, uh, within interfaith ceremonies and uh, Christian rituals and in Judaism, even within Hinduism, a commemorative candle can signify the absence of a parent who's been lost. When I mentioned this to Matthew and David, they thought about this. And it wasn't until this morning that I received the email from them. And I'm still, as you can see, I get a little misty from it. But um, Matthew and David chose to light a commemorative candle this evening in honor of those who've been persecuted, tortured, and in many cases met with an untimely and unjust death simply because of their desire to love another human being of the same sex. So it's at this time I'll ask you to please rise. I'll then ask Matthew and David to take a match here and to both strike the match. Take two matches. And please light this commemorative candle. Please let this commemorative candle of purity serve as a reminder of so many of those who've, had the, who've not had the chance to live their lives in freedom with dignity. Let this candle serve as a reminder to those who have suffered under the cruelty of regimes of hatred. And let this candle serve as a reminder for those who have loved another partner for so very long and so very deeply we're not, but we're not permitted to stand before one another and declare their love through the sacred vows of marriage and how they live their lives in silence. Let this candle serve as a reminder for those who have come before us, and may the light of this candle illuminate our own conscience and remind us of the divine presence of those who have made what we can rejoice and celebrate in this evening, tonight, possible. Let us take a moment to remember and take a moment for silence, to remember that. this moment we give thanks and gratitude. So let's step forward. So we're gathered here to witness the unity of Matthew Michael Gandolfo and David Mikhail Schublase. <laughs> How am I doing? <laughs> who present themselves before each other and through the legal bond and sacrament, who present themselves before each other and through the legal bond and sacrament of marriage. And as they enter into this union, I will ask any of you in this room, if any of you can show just cause as to why they may not lawfully marry, would you speak now or forever hold your peace? <laughs> And so in this moment, it's a powerful statement because we're in a room of love that endorses this. And we're so very grateful. So we are now ready for the vows. So what I can ask um, both of you <coughs> to face each other in each other's hands. Trying to help with the top of her. <laughs> 
before you declare your vows to each other, I want to confirm that it is indeed your intention to be married, and you come here on your free will, on your own free will, and without reservation to give yourselves to one another in marriage. David. Isaac. Matthew. Yes. Matthew. We're now going to begin the sacred vows. So please repeat after me and speak to David. I, Matthew Michael Gandolfo. I, Matthew Michael Gandolfo. Take you to be my husband. Take you to be my husband. I will share my life with yours. I will share my life with you. And build our dreams and together. Build our dreams together. I will support you through times of trouble. I will support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of is that someone's um, cell phone? Let's just take a moment here. These things happen. Yeah. And you know what that is? That's a sign that there's just so much energy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just back up for a yeah. moment, right? Because this is a very powerful moment. And so we're going to back up for a moment. Okay? Let's start again. I'm Matthew Michael Gandolfo. Take you to be my husband. Still. <laughs> I take you to be my husband. I will share my life with yours and build our dreams together. I will share my life with yours and build our dreams together. I will support you through times of trouble. I will support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. I promise to give you respect, love, and loyalty. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as I shall live. As long as I shall live. This commitment is made with the deepest of my love. This commitment is made with the deepest of my love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new every day of our lives. David. Please repeat after me. I David Michael Shulaza. I David Michael Shulaza. Take you to be my husband. Take you to be my husband. I will share my life with yours. I'll share my life with yours. And build our dreams together. And build our dreams together. And build our dreams together. I will support you through times of trouble. I'll support you through times of trouble. And rejoice with you in times of happiness. And rejoice with you. And rejoice with you. In times of happiness. In times of happiness. I promise to give you respect. I promise to give you respect. Love and loyalty. Love and loyalty. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as I shall live. As long as I shall live. This commitment was made this commitment is made with the deepest of my love. With the deepest of my love. With the deepest of my love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. Lived in hope. Lived in hope. And made new every day of our lives. And made new. And made new. Every day of our lives. Every day of our lives. And now I will ask. That the witnesses from Matthew and David please come forward. So, Angela and Bacho. It is at this time that we will officially recognize both Matt and David as legally married couple. So, what I'm going to do here is. Signing of the marriage license.
now I'm going to ask David, would you please sign the second line? Angela Matthews, beloved and dear sister, have you willingly and freely agreed to serve as your brother Matthew's witness for his marriage to David? Yes. Please sign your name right here on this line. Wonderful. <clears throat> Bajo, have you willingly and freely agreed to serve as David's witness for his marriage to Matthew? Please sign your name. And now I will ask Angela to please give me the time this evening. It is 9.34. 9.34. So we call it at 9.34. You may both have a seat. Thank you. Matthew and David, may you build a life that is bright with the laughter and smiles of friends and family. May your home be a haven from the tensions of our times and a wellspring of strength. And may it be the one place where you want to be at the end of each day. And may the years be gentle and kind with you both. In the tradition of breaking a plate, at the end of a wedding ceremony, may you start your journey of marriage with the shattering of these plates. We're going to... Okay. 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 It's hard, to stay. it's hard not to be in control of this. <laughs> this is a very special moment because at the end, again, I'm off script here, but it, there is a, it's an ancient tradition that goes back with the breaking of a plate. But uh, when Matthew and David mentioned this to me, what I really believe that um, came through me today, that you should start the journey of your marriage with the shattering of this plate. Because the shattering of this plate serves as a symbol <laughs> of the breaking of silence, the breaking of intolerance, and the breaking of oppression towards LGBTQ brothers and sisters across the globe, and the shattering of glass ceilings. So break. <laughs> <laughs> My great joy and privilege to declare that you are married and you are husbands. You may kiss your groom. No!